So today we're gonna be uh trying TikTok food. So trying food that we see on TikTok. So if y'all used to being here, stay used to being here. If y'all not used to being here, get used to being here. This is the place to be. They be like, Vine, you switched on me, ain't shit changed except my bag hey, you ain't come from nothing, you can't tell me shit about not the brand Polo T, two, three of shoes, and I had Truies on my ass This shit was also tough, I used to boil water just a bag OG a hustler, single mother, but she still kept up with us Now it's Cardi's on my face, or anybody think they Alright, boom, we finna go find a recipe Um, don't mind my dog in the back, she just got out the bath And she ready to run around and play, she think it's running around and play time But no, it's time to, you know, chill out and dry off and then you're gonna run on a playtime. But um, here was this thing I seen, y'all. It was these um grilled cheese sloppy joes. <laughs> that sounds so fire. Grilled cheese sloppy joes. So I'm gonna put the video up on the to the side and I'm gonna uh boom, let's check it out, y'all. Sloppy joe grilled cheese, I know it's gonna bust, but I'm doing it the vegetarian way, of course, because I don't eat meat. So one of my favorite meals to Let's make on busy weeknights are these Sloppy Joe grilled cheese sandwiches. So let me show y'all how I do it. You're gonna throw two pounds of hamburger meat, some diced onions into a skillet. You're gonna let that start to brown. Then you're gonna throw in two heaping spoonfuls of beef bouillon powder and mix that up with the meat and let it finish browning. Then you're gonna throw in some minced garlic. Let that cook for about 30 to 45 seconds. You'll drain off all that grease. Throw in a can of tomato sauce. Add some ketchup, a little bit of mustard. Go ahead and hit it with some salt and black pepper. You're gonna add two heaping spoonfuls of brown sugar and mix okay. this up while it's on low heat. Then in a separate hot skillet, you're gonna take some Texas toast because it works best for this recipe. You're gonna squirt a little mayonnaise on each side and let that toast up. Go ahead and throw you a couple slices of cheese on the bread and okay. then put your sloppy joe meat on top of that. Okay. And then you're just gonna finish this off by cooking it like you normally would a grilled cheese. And that's how I make this delicious grilled cheese sloppy joe sandwich. So I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. <laughs> y'all, my back. How am I going big? It is already so big. <laughs> Let's go try this recipe. All right, y'all. We here. Y'all see what we got behind. Um, can she chill? Can she chill? But mine's going to be a little bit different, obviously, because I'm vegetarian. <laughs> Hey, chill out. Let me let me do myself a favor. Okay, like I was saying, my meat come a little different. This is my meat come in. Or you can get the crumbles, but it's the same thing. I'm just chopping up. So, I already got some open. Got two right here. So, mine's gonna be a little bit different. So, I'm gonna have to dice up some onions. I don't know if I have garlic or garlic. Um, I got garlic, okay, yes I do. Got garlic. I got garlic right here. I'm a jokester, bro. I got garlic right there. <laughs> I ain't got no yellow onion either. <laughs> I gotta use a red one. I gotta use a red one. We got the tomato paste. I'm telling y'all, I make the best grilled cheese. I make the best sloppy joe. If you use canned sloppy joe, stop, don't. I got a recipe for y'all. For the try from scratch. If y'all seeing this, like, what's going on? I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I was finna make me some fries. I realized, like, what goes best with fries? Sloppy Joe's, and I was already planning to do the video, so I said, let's get into it. And see, we got the brand on. If y'all like this jacket, I'm wearing this. Link is down below. Right now, go cop y'all one of these, man. I know it's hot, but guess what? You will never know. Steel cop. I'm gonna do a restock. I don't know if I'm gonna drop this version again. I might, I might not, it just depends. But um, yeah, so cop it so that when fall come around, you're straight, you chillin'. You feel me? But I'm gonna throw on some uh, Crocs real quick and I'm gonna get back to y'all a little bit. Uh, Let me get my fries on. Let's get the air fryer. Right. Y'all seen it, like on fire. It's only like 11.30, I think. It's just about dinner time, I mean lunch time. I don't even know what time it is on there. Let me see what time it actually is. So it's only 11.26 right now, so it is lunch time. So. Y'all want to call this dinner, whatever y'all want to call it. That's y'all problem, man. Leave me y'all. So I'm going to take some of these fries off so that they can cook evenly. Boom. 
Okay. Now, we get our cutting board. It is, that, I know my daughter is doing this. It's stuff everywhere. Y'all didn't know? Wet one of these and your thingy majigger won't move. Cutting board. Now, when I cook, I'm all over the place. I'm not even gonna lie. So y'all just bear with me and enjoy this delicious meal we're gonna make. Okay? And if you really want your back big, like very big, what you can do is make sloppy joe fries with the cheese, maybe a little cheese sauce. So like cheesy sloppy joe fries. Feel me? Look, my back medium. I got a meat, I got a beef. I don't got a big back. I got a medium back. I'm getting there. Medium. I got a BDM. You feel me? I'm not there yet. I'm definitely getting there though. Definitely getting there to that big back step. Now me personally, I don't care for onions like that. Sorry, not sorry. I don't care for onions. My mom would see me cut these onions like that. She would cause so much of a sit fit. This would disturb her peace by so much. She hate the way I cut my vegetables too. Stop mincing them. You're not cutting them. You're mincing them. Why you cutting them so small? I don't like onions like that, mom. That's why. Next, you got the garlic. You can spot it. I could have grew some garlic. You see that? I see it. It's probably. Look, y'all, I will never forget. Sequoia cooked something for me not that long ago, right? Damn, she, I don't know how the hell, she missed a whole chunk of garlic. When I say a whole chunk, y'all, I literally mean a whole chunk. And I bit into it and it ruined my appetite. So I cut my veggie small. So if y'all don't know, my meat is a little different, so I gotta rehydrate it, like just a little bit. So grab a little bit of veggie broth, throw it in the bottom of the pan, just a little bit. When you rehydrate it so it don't dehydrate. Since it's not actual meat, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure that it's still juicy and not. Because if I don't hydrate it again, it will be more of a chorizo or more of like a chopped cheese rather than. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of hard to explain, but you got to rehydrate it. So we're going to rehydrate that and I'm going to get back to y'all in a little bit. Oh, so. See we dang there there. So now you go in with like some oil. Oh, a little bit of oil. And if I can't tell, I change the fries out too. Go in with a little bit of oil and some butter. I don't know why that took it so long. Yeah. Heat down. Get a little bit of butter. And. I want that heat super down now. I'm gonna go in with my seasoning. And if you want to, you can do a little bit of Creole seasoning. I'm just not because it's gonna be too spicy for my daughter. So I'm not. And this is why you prep. So go in with your onions right now. Let's move it over. Go in with your onions. And turn this off to the side. I'm gonna turn this heat up a little bit. This is I don't want my burgers cooking. Don't judge me. I don't want my burgers cooking, so I'm only going. Yeah, that works. I'm just gonna leave this space. You don't need a lot because you're gonna use the ketchup anyway. So don't put a lot. Now it's hamburger meat, y'all. Or if you if you're vegetarian watching this and you don't feel like doing all this, you can get the crumbs. 
But again, just make sure you uh, rehydrate it. Now you want to go on with your garlic. Perfect time to go on with your garlic now. And I'm finna go try to find some mustard and I'll be back. Yeah, I'm going to get mustard. Can I just get a handful, uh, handful of mustard packets? What? I just want some mustard packets, like some mustard. We don't have mustard packets. Oh, all right. Yes, we need mustard. It's that serious. The whole recipe is ruined without the mustard. Better than nothing. Okay. I'm back. Yes, y'all, it's that serious. The whole recipe will be ruined without the mustard. Done. We got some fries in here. Now it's time to do the burger, the uh, grilled cheese part. We gonna first. We got some leftover cheese. Cheese, here, cheese, uh-oh, don't love that plastic one. Cheese, now what's next? Exactly, the sloppy joe. Oh, no, you said the other cheese, did you? Nah, nah, nah. It's all about the layers. It's about the layers, y'all. Now. Go other cheese. Boom. Boom. You ain't got to cook your hands. I don't know what to tell you. Boom. Yo, back real big, you could cheese crust it. Just put some cheese. Boom, that's it. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna kill the heat. The heat off anyway. Kill the heat, unplug it. Let it finish doing its thing. And then, then that's how you make a big back grilled cheese right there. Get back to y'all for the taste test. All right, y'all, we here with the taste test now. Got the fries. Try the fries first. Mm. My back. Y'all, my back. It's not gonna unbig, it's just not. This 
It's not going to be. I'm going to go enjoy myself. Kick up a mukbang. And y'all make this now. Especially if y'all back is as big as mine. You will love it. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Check in with y'all another man. Look, if y'all like these type videos, make sure you comment down below. We need more. Also, comment down below what else y'all want me to try, and I'll vegetarianize it, if I can. Um, like the button, like the video, and subscribe, and if you're liking these videos so far, hit that naughty bell right on with it. Look, be good, be great, be you. I love y'all. See you on the next one. Don't fuck with us, cause it'll get dangerous.